Hello, my name is Gail and welcome to Picnic Perkups. Today I'm going to show you how I make certain things which might go very well on a picnic. So we're going to start with deviled eggs. Now, of course you have to hard boil the eggs, so I'm going to turn the stove on and carefully put it in. Now I use cold water to start with. Some people think that if you start with maybe warm water, you're going to save time. Well, that's true, but it really isn't the best way to do it. I have tried it, and the, when the eggs have been peeled, the inside is not fully cooked. So that's no good. You really want your eggs to be well cooked. All right, so while this is going to take about 15 minutes. So while the eggs are hard boiling, I'm going to make something else. Water is always handy to have, whether it's at a picnic or a meeting of some sort. But plain old water, even with ice, is not very appetizing looking. So we're going to make citrus water. And we start off with a lemon. And slice off each end of the lemon. You won't be needing that. Then slice it in half the long way so it will be nice and flat like this. Then just slice it in little half moons as it were. Mmm, that lemon juice smells so good. Of course, this one lemon would be enough for a whole gallon of water. I'm just putting in enough for this container and then a nice little plop and they drop to the bottom and it looks more appetizing already but you don't have to stop there you can also add a lime the same procedure slice off each end then have it that's very important because then the fruit will stay flat on your cutting board. Boy, well, if I get good at this, I could maybe be a bar back. And we pop that in. Now we've got colors. And of course, in addition to adding visual zest, there's going to be a, a slight tang to the taste. All right, we'll have a little orange while we're at it. both ends. All right, now we don't need a whole lot of this. Now, oranges are much bigger than lemons and limes, so if you want to cut them in halves again, or even thirds, that's quite okay. Now we have three lovely colors. I'll add a little bit more. And I hope that this kind of citrus water will look much more appealing and get some business. Okay. The next item I'm going to make is this very special sandwich. Now you've heard people rave about peanut butter and jelly. That's a standard American snack or lunch. And some people like to put peanut butter with Bananas. I've enjoyed that quite a bit. You get a little bit of fruit too. But this is a, a little snack that my grandmother invented for her daughter. Way back in the 50s, a lot of people, a lot, a lot of children got polio, and my aunt came down with polio. And so she was very thin, and my grandmother said to herself, I want to find something to feed my daughter that will fatten her up. <laughs> Well, this I can guarantee uh, is not anything for anyone who's trying to lose weight. But it's so easy and so delicious. 
And you can take white bread, of course, but I like the hot dog buns, the kind that open on top. So obviously we start off with peanut butter on one side. Just one side is enough. There we go. Now the other side, marshmallow fluff. I trust your, your mouth is watering already. Just slather that on. Yeah. Now the third ingredient is, are you ready? Chopped dates. So we gotta get a knife. Now you want to buy dates that are pitted. You certainly don't need to take a, a chomp and find a stone in there, as it were. So here are some chopped dates. I think this is such a clever and tasty perk up. Could be at a picnic or any time. So there it is, all you have to do is fold it together and chomp down. So I hope that you will try that sometime. <clears throat> okay, time to take our eggs off. They can boil 15 minutes if you like. When I lived in Italy and they would serve us at the hotel every morning, the waiters come around and they say, tre minuti o sei minuti. And if you wanted three minute eggs, it would probably be soft, very soft at six minutes uh, would be a little firmer. I'm gonna turn this off and remember, metal pans get very hot so you wanna protect your hand. I'm going to spoon them into a container with cold water because they're too hot to handle. Now here are three eggs that I have hard boiled previously. So this is the fun part. We gotta take the shells off and we'll put the shells in here. No, I don't. Now some people think that it's easier to make hard boil boiled eggs if you steam them. I haven't tried that, but that's something that could be done. They say that it's easier to peel the eggs. So put them in here. This is not the fun part, but the important thing is that the egg is more or less intact. You don't want to gouge it with your thumb. The fun part comes next. Okay, I'm just doing three. All right, now I'm gonna rinse this off because we don't want any eggshell to be part of things. Okay, and we can get rid of this one. Now, to cut them. I slice the egg from pole to pole. Although I've seen people make deviled eggs the other way, cutting it in another direction. There they are, and a third. Okay, so we're, this is three eggs. Now we need to scoop out the yolk. I like to use a teaspoon. And I'll put it there on my special deviled egg dish. 
you'll never find a deviled egg dish like this anywhere because something that I made in ceramics class a long time ago. Whoops. Sometimes the yolks do break. So that means I get to eat it before the picnic. Okay, there we have it. Now we have the egg yolks. Next we mash them at the back of a tined of the tines on the fork. You want to mash it so it's nice and crumbly. you know we need not marshmallow fluff we need mayonnaise so I'm going to spoon some mayonnaise in we'll try one one big blob as it were Let's see how that looks it, it definitely needs some more so it's nice and and spreadable. Now I'm sure everybody who makes deviled eggs knows this, knows to use mayonnaise. But some people like to add extra things. Uh, I've heard people chop up onions or peppers or even pickles and those are all fine. But I think that sounds like too much work. My goal is to make it easy. So I use hot dog relish. Now there's two kinds of hot dog relish. There's one that's basically green, but I like the one that's yellow. And of course what makes it yellow is mustard. And mustard adds wonderful zing. People who eat your, your deviled eggs are not expecting to say, wow, what is that flavor? Well, my secret ingredient, but I'm sharing it with you. So it mixes in very well, very easily. And now the trick is to spoon it in neatly. Cup the yolk in your hand, the egg, the white of the egg. Now some people make a big deal of making it very fancy. If you want to take that much time, you can, but the main thing is to cover as much as you can. There we go. And if you have any left over, because maybe you've lost a, a shell, as it were, uh, that goes great on a cracker. I remember I went to a picnic once and a lady was saying, she was passing out deviled eggs. They didn't look <clears throat> with enough spice to me. But she was saying, no carbs, no carbs. So that's true. Whoops. And even though that came out fine, I just kind of messed it up a little bit, but your tummy won't know the difference when it slides down. And even these little bits, we're going to not waste. Put this over here. There. Now, all it needs is to be sprinkled with a little paprika. Very little, just to give it some, some color. A little Hungarian flavor there. And there you have it, deviled eggs with special ingredients. I hope you have enjoyed watching this and maybe you've come up with some more ideas. So um, I need to get going because I have a picnic to perk up. Bye. <music>